Okay, so let's move on to comparing arteries to veins. Okay, so veins. Veins move blood into the heart. They often carry carbon dioxide and waste, but not all the time. What we'll see in the endocrine system is they pick up things as well. So when you say drainage of an organ, drainage could be anything that the organ wants to supply to the body. That could be nutrients for removal, I'm sorry, waste, excuse me, waste for removal, or it could be things like hormones or other enzymes that need to be transported around the body as well. Okay. Um, veins, unlike arteries, will run both superficial and deep. So that's one of their kind of special features. What that means is there's often times a set of blood vessels, a set of veins that run over the muscle, but don't have a corresponding artery. Okay. So veins are also interesting because they run, they actually work under low pressure. And I mean, in general, blood, blood vessels hold blood and they move blood around the body. So they need something to drive them. Okay. So since they need, they need a driving force, essentially what's going to happen is that um, we're going to use pressure as that driving force. And just like I said, or I will say, it depends on what when you're watching this stuff. In in nature, the best driving force is a, a difference between high and low. So high and low concentrations, high and low pressures. So again, we have to have high pressure area to move blood towards a low pressure area. Therefore, we need a low pressure area. And veins end up being that low pressure area. Because they're under low pressure, they're going to have way more special features that are going to help us move blood back towards the heart. So if we go and we kind of compare arteries to veins, so veins will have a much larger and more oval shaped opening. Sometimes it's flattened. Okay, sorry. So that means the lumen can kind of flatten like this. And what that does is it reduces resistance so that the blood can kind of slink through the vein when necessary. <clears throat> because veins are working under lower pressure and they're gonna have some additional special features to help them move under that low pressure, what we're gonna see is yes, they still have a, have a thin tunica intima. Tunica intima is the same across all of them. They have a much thinner tunica media because they're not doing vasoconstriction and vasodilation. They're not, they're not actually doing anything in terms of regulating blood pressure. Their connective tissue on the outside is thicker. They do have less elastic fibers. Mostly because they don't need those elastic fibers. Right here, they have more elastic fibers. Sorry, I know I put, I put it down here in the special features, but I just wanted to put it back up there too. Veins have less elastic fibers since they're under lower pressure. They don't need to recoil as much, okay? Types of veins, they're just named veins. And then the smallest of them is called a venule. The venule, the venule is what is attached to the capillary. But we have like large veins, we have medium sized veins, they're just veins. Yay, lucky for us. Okay, they didn't overly name this stuff. The special features of veins is that since they're working under low pressure, essentially you have to have ways of of moving blood forward without pressure. So some of those include valves. And what I can do is actually, let me kind of erase this just a little bit, move it outwards just slightly so that we see that it's thin with valves. 
the intima. The tunica intima layer will actually have valves in it, okay? Veins will also be within muscle. And essentially what that means is there are two additional ways of moving uh, blood through a vein and bo mo both of them require you to push on the vein. So you'll use a skeletal muscle pump in order to drive blood forward and you'll also use the respiratory pump. Both of these push on veins. So you push on the vein to drive the blood forward or up, usually upwards towards the heart. And then the valve, what happens is inside of the vein, you're gonna have a valve like this. And as you drive blood forward through the pump, you're gonna have the, the valve closes and blood ends up pooling in the valve, okay? So that's veins. I'm not going to draw anything out or do anything extra because that's veins. So the next part is we're going to we're going to do capillaries and we're going to look at capillary exchange.